Welcome back. Well, no matter how much media outlets are trying to say that Vice President Kamala Harris was unfairly given the title of border czar, President Joe Biden made it pretty clear back in 2021 that she was indeed in charge of the crisis at the southern border. Take a listen. Kamala Harris, who was appointed as the border czar. As the border crisis escalates, President Biden is putting the vice president in charge. I've asked her, uh, the VP, today because she's the most qualified person to do it, to lead our efforts with uh, Mexico and the Northern Triangle. Do not come. Do not come. That was her message. Don't come. And then 10 million came. For more on this, let's welcome in Florida Congresswoman Kat Kamick. Good morning. Thank you for joining us in studio. So what do you make of this new narrative that, no, she's never been the border czar, even though we just heard that he asked her to do just that? Oh, my goodness. I mean, this is just more deflection, mm. blame. Uh, you know, they never want to take responsibility mm. for anything. And that is really the M.O. of the progressive left. Mm -hmm. They want to point fingers. They will never accept personal responsibility. And I think that that's really going to be a, a an accusation and a, a very necessary charge that gets laid on her for the entirety of the campaign. Mm -hmm. When she has said repeatedly that she is the border czar, she is the A.I. czar, that she's in charge of voter election integrity efforts mm. and she has done absolutely nothing. I mean, come on, her record speaks for itself. When do the American people start looking at that and seeing her for what she is and seeing what a Kamala Harris presidency would look like? Because right now it seems like we're in the honeymoon phase, right? It's been a few <laughs> days in, the media is all excited, Democrats are all excited, it's sunshine and rainbows everywhere, but eventually that wears off. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, she has a record of failure. Right. And and trust me, there's plenty of material mm -hmm. to go after there. And just because Joe Biden calls her a DEI hire doesn't mean that we have to. I think at this point we focus solely on her record and it has been failure after failure after failure. To your point, we have ten and a half million people who have crossed the border illegally. Because of this election, we're going to see a massive surge. I'm already hearing from Border Patrol agents that are saying we're starting to see another uptick because we're seeing that mm -hmm. she's not going to do anything. And if Donald Trump gets reelected, then they're going to shut the border down. So yeah. people are really starting to rush. That right there is enough. What she has done with the open borders, the fentanyl, the crisis that she has created in this country, particularly in communities all around this nation, that should be enough to send every man and woman to the polls saying this woman is not qualified or capable of having the nuclear codes, let alone doing the very basic thing that she's already been tasked. Yeah.